MDG power MDG power MDG power leo niko hapa kwa ile issue kwa ile issue kuja kuja ku protect the government to defend the government we as the MDG kazi yetu tulisema ni kulinda serikali tunataka uchumi mzuri tunataka tunataka bei be, be ya maisha ishuke na hatuwezi shusha bei ya maisha tukijaza rallies kama leo tumekuwa kume, tumeona kule ku, walikuwa jivanji ikisemekana ilikuwa pr a prayer day pale jivanji lakini ile ni siasa ile ni siasa you can imagine wako kwa maombi alafu wengine wanaanza kusema maneno ya bangi right mr odinga wewe wacha ku confuse vijana wadogo wacha kupoteza watu na wale vijana uko nao tumeona you are coming with your with your youth unakuja hapa wadanganya youth wengine mr odinga this time round we won't give you a chance we won't give you we won't give you any opportunity yenye uta distract hawa innocent youth wenye wako mtaani si ati kwamba juu hatujulikani si ati kwamba juu vijana hawana kwenye wametoka you want to use them you want to use them politically for your benefit mr odinga we are telling you we are telling you that we are in the 21st century and siasa zako zimepita na wakati siasa zako hazina hazina mwelekeo tena what you can do to these kenyans ni kuwa waste what you can do to these kenyans ni kuwa tupa we want to warn you mr odinga umepeana 14 days ati mwene maandamano ni ile maandamano ulienda kuua ulienda kuua watoto wenyewe kule barabarani ni ile maandamano wale watoto mpaka baby pendo walishutiwa wali kwa hiyo barabarani and when you went to the hard shake time haukukumbuka yeyote ulitumia wa vijana i remember the day wakati ulikuwa unatoka pale airport the majority of the youth died on the way lakini wewe odinga wakati ulienda hardship hata hukukumbuka hata mwanarika mmoja muone na yeye we are telling you stop confusing our fellow kenyans we in our country tunataka inchi yenye inasonga mbele tunataka inchi yenye ita, itaendelea tunataka inchi yenye iko na maendeleo and we are telling you nimesikia leo ati wangari kaloa anakuja kudanganya watu Ati yeye hajui rais. Ninakwambia hivi na hii imetoa mauti Kenya. Mother Wangari Karua. Shame on you. Niambie Kirinyaga how many votes did you deliver to Raila Molo Odinga? Ati utakuja kusimama ati wewe ndo unasimama kama mtu wa Central Kenya, unastand na unasema hakuna rais. We are telling you hatukutambui, hatukuheshimu, ujipatie heshima kwa miaka yako. Wewe wewe unakuja una hapa kudanganya watu, wewe ni wakili, umesoma. Na ile wakili wenye uko nayo, unajua kuna sheria. Unajua wakati election mulisema imeibiwa, mulienda Supreme Court and the Supreme Court was the final judgment ya maneno ya election. Wakati tulienda pale election, tuka declare ile uchaguzi haikuwa imeibiwa ile uchaguzi ulikuwa wa haki na ukweli sasa wewe hii makaratasi yako ya kuwa loya ama ni ukora na tena hivi chenye tunajua our president dr william samoe ruto wewe si mtu wa kutishwa wewe tunakuamini in every way wewe tunajua we can go far with you we have our expectation to you na huyu mzee wa kitendawili hatumpati time huyu mzee wa kitendawili huyu mzee mwenye hana agenda huyu mzee mwenye anapenda anapenda kazi yake ni kuharibu watoto wenyewe huyu mzee mwenye anataka hii Kenya hii opposition yote waifanye Odinga's family kama ni kweli hizo 14 days mnataka kwenda kwa maandamano wewe endea mtoto wako huko yala akuja ongoze endea kijana yako kwenye umemweka huko nyumbani akuja yaongoze kwa hiyo maandamano na wewe mwenyewe pia usiweke bodyguard Ek, enda hapo kwa front line kama unajiamini wewe ni mwanaume enda hapo kwa front line uongoze au vijana hiyo maandamano muende na tuone kwenye mutafika we are telling you hiyo matusi mmekuwa mkitusi our president hiyo matusi mmekuwa mkitusi our deputy president na kuambia you you are accusing Mount Kenya people Wakati mnakuja kwa podium kazi yenu hata hamuna kitu kingine mnaongea maneno ya Rigathi Gashagwa. Rigathi Gashagwa is very busy working. Rigathi Gashagwa yeye anafanya kazi kutoka kuto, kutoka 4 to 4 hiyo ingine. Alafu na nyinyi mnashinda tu huku Idolin. Hamna kazi yenye mko nayo yote. Then mnazunguka huku mna kazi yake tu ni kum, kumtu, kumtusi. Serikali najua inawauma na itawauma tu. Serikali I want to, to to nullify what Rigathi Gashagwa said. Alisema serikali ni kama kampuni. Wenye wame invest kwa hiyo kampuni, they are the first people to benefit from that company. Mr. Odinga wakati mulikuwa munatengeneza, munatengeneza serikali yenyu, ile ya uongo. Tuliona mpaka mulikuwa na waziri wa fedha ambaye alikuwa ni weekly for paranya. Tuliona mpaka mambo ya mashamba mulikuwa mwaganya hiyo serikali ambayo mulikuwa mepea Ali Hassan Joho. Tuliona mulikuwa mejipanga. Sasa hiyo kinyongo inawatoka wapi ati one now munataka kuvuna pahali ya mkupanda. We are telling we don't have 
We really don't have your time, Mr. Odinga. It is your high time as a grandfather of the majority of the youth. Enda upumzike wewe guka. Wewe guka unafaa kuwa kule ume, umetulia, umejikalia peke yako. Lakini siku kuja kudanganya watu, watu up, up, upper town. Usi kuja kudanganya yote. Then nikimalizia. Mr. President and our Deputy President, we are here and we are defending your plan. We are, we are defending your, manipe, your manifesto. Mr. President, tulikuwa na uh, the plan. Hashtag the plan. And now we are six months. Tunajua tumekuwa tukisumbuliwa na watu fulani ambao wanajifanyanga wando kusema hii Kenya. Lakini, iyo plan, tuko hapa and we will make it happen. Whether they like it or not. Hii serikali ni ya mahasla na hata kama, hata kama kuna, uch, kuna hali, kuna uchumi umeenda juu. There is mature way in a democratic way to criticize the government lakini huwezi toka pahali ukuja na matusi yako alafu unaanza ku, ku address watu hakuna president na and you are still saying kuna high cost of living kama kuna high cost of living and you are still saying hakuna president in this republic of kenya nikuulize wewe nikuulize wewe ah watu wazimio ah watu wakuzimia junyi mlizoea kulala kazi yenu tu ni kulala kumunanga kazi hii kenya niwaulize kama kama hakuna serikali utaanza aje kusema high cost of living si nyinyi ndio serikali na, me, na mr president Unajua and the deputy president unajua hapa ground kuna wimbo wametuimbia mpaka tumechoka it is outdated ati tunaenda state house sasa sisi tulikuwa tunawauliza na kwa ni status iko mbali kama wewe ni mwanaume siende hapo status uingie siende hapo uingie kama kama wewe you, you feel you are the one you are the one to be there bonus usiende uingie thank you very much